today I am actually working on uh, the video schedule because we figured out with all the things that we got going on that it's actually a little bit overwhelming. So, um, as you can see, Klee's not here today and uh, it's just me. So, the reason that the schedule is overwhelming is because we run a full-on art studio. Because we run a full-on art studio, the videos are actually just a side project that we started to try and help out as much as we can out in the art community. So we're reevaluating and revamping what our schedule looks like so we don't overextend ourselves. We've got several commissions. It is the holiday season, so things get a little bit busier this time of year. So we decided that uh, we're gonna, we're still gonna continue doing what we're doing as far as like putting out a video and putting out the podcast. But I think one of the things that we're gonna do is do some short videos as well. And we're gonna call those uh, Bite Size by Rafi and Klee. And it gives us the opportunity to answer some of the questions that you guys send us without having to involve a huge long video. So uh, without further ado, this will be the test run of the first Bite Size with Rafi and Klee. So you guys let us know how it goes. Bite size, Rafi and Clean. The same awesome flavor in a smaller package. And always filler free. May contain peanut gallery. Hola, you amazing artists. So, this is the first of the little short video thingies. Which we're calling Bite Size Rafi and Klee. Tidbits from our brains. Yep. And not only that, but it makes it easier because obviously I'm running an art business. We we're both running an art business. So a lot of times I don't have time to be able to edit the long videos. Yeah. And that'll be a good challenge for us to not ramble on and on and on and on and on and on and on. So let's get into our question, shall we? Let's do it. Okay, so actually this is two questions that I'm putting into one question because they both have to do with the same topic. So okay. it comes from Kid Rockin' Forever. Hey, Kid Rockin'. Hi! When you guys set up your booth, do you put any lighting in it or does anyone? And the second question comes from Eunice Adunkba. I hope I said your name right, Eunice. Hi, Eunice. Working on a show, currently I'm curious about how you tackle lighting in a space you aren't renting. I'm using a downtown coffee house. So lighting in a business where you don't control the lighting and lighting in a booth setup. Got it. For lighting in a booth setup, um, basically it depends. If we're doing a nighttime show, uh, we have our own lighting that we'll take. For a long time, uh, we used work lamps, those, those silver yeah. work lamps that the you clamp find. Kind. Yeah, the light bulbs are just LED daylight bulbs. Then we eventually invested in a strand of like cafe lights. They were like these unbreakable globes they're, via one plug. They're supposed to be unbreakable we, globes. We actually we broke, broke a couple. We broke the globe. And those are the lights that you see like hanging on RVs. Like they're these big giant. In fact, it was, I think it was RVs. It was an RV website. Yeah. If we can find the link, we'll post the link. Those are very efficient. So if you're doing a nighttime show, uh, inquire as to whether they have an electrical thing for you to hook up to. Yep. We have friends that use like a, a chargeable battery thing to power their stuff at shows where they don't have access to electricity. They have electricity. Uh, usually you're the one that needs to bring in your lights. And, and extension cords. Extension cords, uh, power strips, things like that. Just be prepared to set up your lights however it is. I would do a practice run at your own house with your canopy just to see what kind of lights uh, you could use. Regular lights from a hardware store or wherever, things that uh, will not break easily is what you want to do to light your shows, your, yeah. your canopy at We night. had a go, we still do, we have a go bag for shows, for yep. nighttime shows that have all the necessities in them. Yep, extension cords and, and zip all ties. the zip ties, uh, the, whole, the whole nine yards. Okay, so the second part of the question is, um, a show where you're hanging your work in a space that's already established, like a coffee house, mm -hmm. and they already have their lighting scheme happening, and you have to work within that lighting scheme. Um, so generally, uh, you just have to work with what they've got. Yeah. Which means trying to place your artwork underneath uh, the existing, lighting that's there. Existing lighting. When it comes to like putting your artwork in a business or in a coffee shop, chances are they're not ready 
especially if they don't have any artwork up. They don't have any lighting that is set up for artwork. Now, some of the businesses where I show my stuff, um, they do have lighting for artwork because they already had uh, like cheap, uh, you know, the uh, Kirkland's artwork and stuff like that. That was up. lit. Yeah, that was lit. So now they have like my artwork lit and that's perfect. All you could do really is work with the space and the lighting that they have and talk to the business owner and ask them if there's any point in time where they're expecting to put any additional lighting in there for the artwork. Yeah. Now some of the businesses you've hung in are like very atmospheric, like they're kind of darkly lit. It's sort of like the, yeah. the mood lighting or whatever. So some of the pieces went by where the natural light was coming in from yep. windows and such and just really just working within the space. But don't be afraid to ask a business owner about it. And that's it. I think that concludes the first short video. Bite size Rafi and Klee. Bite size Rafi and Klee. Thank you Kid Rockin' Forever and thank you Eunice for your awesome questions. Thank you guys. You guys are awesome. Just to make a quick announcement, I am finally done with the book. There is still a lot of work that needs to go in from here till uh, the book actually gets released. So just wanted to fill you guys in on what's going on there and uh, that's it. And thank you so much for watching, you guys. You guys are absolutely amazing. I totally adore you. And if you want to watch more like this, you click right over here to subscribe. <laughs> Not your face. No? Oh, okay. <laughs> no. And that's it. Say goodbye, Clay. Good day. Adios.